So here is um, fifth hour got to this example today, sixth hour did not. But for those of you in fifth hour, um, another way that you can think about this. Um, so if we start with x cubed, or 3x plus 2 cubed plus 8, um, we can rewrite this as 3x plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed. Okay? Sorry, not 3 cubed. Oh my gosh. 2 cubed. Okay? Because 2 cubed is the same thing as 8. So basically, this is our first term. This is our second term. This is what we can use for x, and this is what we can use for y. So because there's a plus sign in between our two terms, we're going to do the sum of cubes, which the formula for that one is x plus y. Actually, I'm going to do this one in a different color. So x plus y <coughs> times x squared minus xy plus y squared. So whatever is right here, we're going to plug in for each one of the x's, and whatever is right here. So we're going to ignore the exponent. Whatever is right here, we're going to plug in for each y. So if we do it kind of like this, right, cover up what's here. This is your x, this is your y, okay? So wherever you see an x, you're going to put this in its place. And wherever there's a y, you're going to put this in its place. So this x becomes 3x plus 2, and this y becomes 2, so plus 2. Over here, this x becomes 3x plus 2, and we have to keep the squared. Then for this term, we just multiply these two together, so it would be minus <coughs> 2 times 3x plus 2, and then plus y squared, while well, y squared would be 2 squared, which is 4, okay? From here, it's just a matter of simplifying each set of parentheses. So this part right here is easy because the only thing that we have to do to simplify this would be to combine these two for our like terms. So in that first set of parentheses, it just becomes 3x plus 4. Okay? In the second set of parentheses, we have two things that we have to simplify first before we can combine all of our like terms. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to do this 3x plus 2 squared. And the 3x plus 2 squared is not just squaring the first term and squaring the second term. Remember, you have to do the distributive property with that. So let's see, if I take this part right here, okay, 3x plus 2 squared. So that is 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. And remember with this, you have to distribute twice. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And 3 times 2 is 6x. And then you have to distribute the 2 twice. So 2 times 3x is plus 6x, and 2 times 2 is 4. So then with this, you combine your like terms. So you get 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So this is going to replace this orange box right here. Okay. So in that set of parentheses, we're going to get 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Then this part we just have to distribute, but we have to distribute the negative through with. So minus 6x minus 4, and then this plus 4 just drops down. Okay, so once we have everything simplified, Okay, so we have this part simplified and we have this part simplified. Now we just have to combine our like terms. So this part right here is already done. We don't have to do anything else with that. And that part is going to stay the same. So 3x plus 4. The part that's inside this parentheses has to get simplified. So there's only a 9x squared. So that part is just going to stay the same. Here we have 12x 
minus 6x. So that's going to give us plus 6x. And then we have a minus 4, sorry, a plus 4, a minus 4, and a plus 4. These two basically cancel each other out, and we just have the plus 4. And this would be the factor version. 